What's up guys, I'm Duncan and this is the question, is the Galar region the UK flipped upside down? I saw this all over my comment section in the last video I did exploring the Galar region and doing the analysis of the region and trailer and everyone's like, oh Duncan, the Galar region is just the UK flipped upside down, it's so simple, it's so simple, that's why London's at the top. And I will acknowledge now that yes, London is at the top of the region, but is the Galar region the UK flipped upside down? Well, we're going to explore that today. Uh, short answer, too long, didn't want to watch. No, no, it's not. It is, uh, the UK all jumbled up entirely, right? But if you really, really want to break it down, then let's do it. So we have in front of us the Galar region and we've drawn a nice outline of the Galar region and we're going to go around the cities. We've got a map of the UK with all the relevant stuff marked on it. I added some stuff. Uh, I marked it in the correct places though. Nottingham, the chalk giant, things like that. Right, so we're going to start by going around our key areas, our areas of interest in green. So we have our London area here. And then we have our mountain range here. Ooh, going around the mountain range. Ooh. Boom. Our mountain range there. Then we've got our sort of foresty area here. And then we've got a mining town here that links into a big town here. And then a sort of snowy town and a Dockland area here. So there's our Docklands. Here's our central city that I previously said was based on London, and I am wrong here. Here's our town with the chalk cliff, which is based on the chalk giant from Dorset here. Here is another Dockland area. We don't really need to mark that because we don't have a place that I think that that's based on yet, but let's mark it anyway. We've got our lake district here. And we've got our starter town, which is clearly based on Kent. Or maybe on Wales. Some people are saying Wales, but certainly not on Scotland here. So there we go. We've outlined everything of note that we need to. So if we take this layer now and we move it over here, we have our nice map of the Galar region with our key areas marked out. So let's start filling these areas in. I'm acknowledging now, I am acknowledging now that you guys were right and that London here is the big city at the top. That does match up the best. It's got the London Eye, it's got the Houses of Parliament, it's got a big Ben-style building, it has a Millennium dome start building. So this spot here is our London. So the bottom has gone to the top. So far, so good on the flipped theory. We've even got the River Thames running. If we look here, we've got the River Thames. So, so far, so good on the London theory. But then, we've got a big, big mountain range. Now, the biggest mountain range in the UK is either the Pennines or the Grampians, but this is very snowy, which means it's more like the Grampians. Uh, it could be the Cambrians from Wales, but either way, I think that the most likely thing is that this is the Grampians. It fits the Grampians the best. So let's go and take our Grampians here from Scotland. So right at the top of the UK, all of a sudden, as you can see in the UK map, no mountains anywhere near London, certainly not right next to London or along the Thames. So if this is our Thames here, there is a mountain range along the Thames. As somebody who grew up in London, I can tell you, there is no mountain range along the Thames. So let's take our Grampians. So we've got our Grampians here, and we're going to control T. We're going to fit them in so they've rotated the Grampians. And let's delete the blue around the Grampians just so they, they fit in. But there's our Grampians right next to London. So that's a bit of a mix up. But okay, I hear you say, it's just the mountains that they've moved. Everything else could still be flipped upside down. So next up, let's go for our Chalk Giant, for example, which is right down in the south. So if it's flipped, it should be up here near London. But in fact, our Chalk Giant is this little one here. So if we take our Chalk Giant here and we go here and take our Chalk Giant and put it here, very much looking like a not flipped UK. Like you can see the Chalk Giant here. That doesn't make sense. If uh, the Chalk Giant's down in the south, it should be up in the north. Well, it's it's not. Um, then we're going to take this city. This city, everybody's saying, looks the most like either Manchester or Liverpool or Nottingham. So I don't think it's Nottingham. I think at the very least it's Manchester, Liverpool. So let's let's say it's Manchester. That's the one it's the most similar to, this red brick city. It's very Manchester-y. Uh, Manchester Cathedral has a very similar tower to this tower here. So if we take our town here, boom, and we're saying that's Manchester. So we take our Manchester here from the middle of the UK. And oh, look, that fits. That fits. Manchester is from the middle and it's going 
it's sort of kind of uh, south end of the middle and it's sort of a little bit north so that fits that fits the flipped uk theory so so far we have london and manchester fit but nothing else does we do know that this dockland area is probably a fusion of liverpool birmingham and nottingham because we know Nottingham because the forest, the most famous forest in the UK is Nottingham Forest. So let's take our Nottingham here and go boom, boom, and take our Nottingham and put it in the forest area. So <laughs> this Nottingham should be, based on the flip theory, slightly, slightly north, as you can see here, of Manchester. It should be slightly north and west. It is north and west, but it's significantly north and west. So if that's Nottingham Forest, then we can assume that this mining town down here is sort of Nottinghamshire area, Trent area, and we've got our Nottingham in here. Now, this city here is Birmingham. We're going to call it Birmingham because it does connect to a dock here, which is sort of the Liverpool Docklands. It's the most famous shipbuilding yard in the UK. So let's call this Birmingham. Liverpool is here. Birmingham is just here. So as you can see, we should have Liverpool should be right next to Manchester and Birmingham should be far to the north. So Birmingham fits ish sort of. It is between Manchester and Liverpool here. So if we say that this is Birmingham, that fits. So let's go ahead and take our Birmingham here and move that into here. So Birmingham fits the flip theory. But unfortunately, Liverpool, which should be parallel to Manchester, does not fit our flip theory. So as you can see, we've had three things fit so far and um, one, two, three, four things not. So it's four, three. OK, we've got some strength to the flip theory here. Then we get a little bit messy. Our starter town is very clearly based on Kent. Kent in the UK is down here. It's down south of London. I, I, it's, it's based on an area south of London. It might not be exactly Kent. It might be Devizes or something like that. And it might be Wales. But no matter what it is, it's definitely not the north. It is not. This is not. This area here is this idyllic patchwork field area is not based on Scotland. I'm sorry. It's not. So there we go. It's another thing. Let's call it Starter Land. And it's definitely not Starter Land. It's definitely, definitely not based on our Scotland. So we've got this starter land definitely doesn't fit. Then we've got our Lake District. That's wrong. We put our Manchester in the Lake District. Oops, and now Manchester fits even worse, but that's fine. You know, <laughs> the fact that it fits worse isn't a big deal. Still kind of fits if you want to go with that flip theory. The Lake District is miles away. It's off over here. It's, it's nowhere near... It's nowhere near Manchester. It's nowhere near north of Manchester, which would be this area here. But, you know, if people want to claim whatever they want to claim, fine. Lake District doesn't matter. So we're just going to write Lake District here because it doesn't fit. The Lake District just doesn't fit. It's very, very difficult to get it fit. I don't have Lake District on my map because of poor preparation. But Lake District does not fit. Finally, we have this little secondary port here. I actually don't know what this port could be. It could be a small fishing town from down south. It could be a small fishing town from up north. Our little mountain town is probably based on Glasgow or Edinburgh. So I'm going to choose Glasgow because I prefer Glasgow to Edinburgh. That's my personal preference. So I'm going to choose to make our little mountain town Glasgow, which should be right down in the south based on the flip theory, but it's not. As you can see... Unfortunately, our flipped Galar is flipped UK is Galar doesn't have legs. Yes, London fits. Yes, Manchester kind of fits. Yes, Birmingham maybe just about fits, but Starterland doesn't fit. The Chalk Giant massively doesn't fit. Nottingham massively doesn't fit. Liverpool massively doesn't fit. Glasgow massively doesn't fit. The mountain range, the physical geography doesn't fit so i think what they've done with this region is the same as they did with unova it's the same that they did with kalos and that's just take key parts of the region of the uk and they just scattered them around they didn't really try and base it on the map of the uk they were basing it on key elements from the uk it's based on key elements 
from Britain. It's not based on Britain as a whole. It's not based on the map of Britain. We have British influence. They liked Manchester, so they wanted a Manchester-style city. They liked Liverpool, so they wanted a Liverpool-style city. London is incredibly iconic with these huge iconic things. So they put that in the biggest city, and then they decided because they wanted it to look like a sword, and they wanted the biggest tower to be the hilt of the sword, that they were going to put it in the top of the region. That's it. That's all that's... That there's no conspiracy here. There's no rhyme or reason. They may as well have balled up little pieces of the UK and just <laughs> thrown them at a map. And that's how they got the map of the Galar region. So, guys, I'm really, really sorry to debunk a very popular theory. But no, Galar is not the UK flipped upside down. It is absolutely inaccurate. And anybody from the UK would be able to tell you that almost instantly. We were betrayed by Bird Keeper Toby, who supported this theory very briefly. He was like, yes, I support this theory. And then he flipped around. And he was like, wait, wait, wait. Actually, no. Actually, no. I slipped up. He is a traitor, but we've forgiven him. We've moved on. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Galar region photoshopping goodness. And I will see you guys next time.